A long time ago in the rolling hills, there lived a man called Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed did not have a home, but instead wandered across the country from Massachusetts to Pennsylvania to Ohio to Indiana to Illinois. Johnny wasn't born with the name Johnny Appleseed, but he got that name as he moved from one small town to the next. Listen to hear how Johnny got that name and why he became a hero to many people. Johnny was born in Massachusetts with the name John Chapman. When Johnny grew up, he decided to travel across the country. People could tell from Johnny's clothing that he was really very poor. His clothes were shabby and he walked around barefoot even in the winter. His hat was so threadbare that you could see his hair beneath it. But despite his loneliness and poverty, Johnny had a brave heart. He believed in the power of love. He loved all the people and all the animals he met along the way. In fact, Johnny often thought to himself that he loved all the people and all the animals in the world, even though he had never met them. The people Johnny met along the way enjoyed his company. They would often invite him to share in a simple meal. Johnny would accept the invitation with a smile. After the meal, he would take out the one possession he owned that was worth anything, his violin. Then he would play for the people who had been kind to him. Sometimes his music was happy, and sometimes it was sad. People loved to hear Johnny play. Whether his music was happy or sad, they said it soothed their soul and made them feel happier. Johnny lived most of his adult life this way. He wandered from place to place and survived as best as he could. You might think that Johnny left no mark upon the land or no great memory of his existence once he had passed away. After all, how could he have, as he was just a poor old man who wandered from place to place? But Johnny did indeed leave something of himself behind, something quite extraordinary and something that would give him the name Johnny Appleseed. You see, as he traveled across the country from town to town and from farm to farm, he collected apple seeds. The apple seeds came from the apple kind strangers gave to him to eat along the way. Johnny saved the seeds and planted them in the rich earth. He planted them here, there, and everywhere. When wintertime came and the earth was frozen, he saved the seeds in his pockets as if they were precious diamonds. Then, when springtime came again, he planted the seeds as he moved from place to place. Johnny hoped that one day orchards or places where fruit trees grow would eventually grow from the rich soil and feed all the people and animals he loved so much. Johnny did this until his tired old body could plant no more. However, what Johnny hoped for came to pass. The apple seeds took root and young saplings began to grow. As the years went by, beautiful apple trees dotted the landscape. Apple orchards appeared like an oasis in the wide open prairies. Eventually, more and more people began to move west. Wagons full of hopeful people rolled across the land. Later, the railroad brought even more hopeful people. All of these people were searching for new places to make a home. Incredibly, many people chose to build their homes near the apple trees and orchards that Johnny had planted. The sight of the trees gave people hope of a fruitful and prosperous future. Farmhouses and then towns were built near the trees that Johnny had planted. He became a hero to all those who loved the apple trees as much as Johnny did, and they began to call John Chapman Johnny Appleseed. As the years went by, people harvested the apples from the trees Johnny had planted and stored them away for the winter months. They made pies, apple butter, and jam. Children played beneath the branches of the apple trees or sat in the cooling shade. These things happened because Johnny Appleseed had cared about all the people of the world, whether he knew them or not. Now, the story of Johnny Appleseed has grown and changed over time. He was a man born John Chapman, but each author tells his story differently. This story is an example of a tall tale. Parts of his life were made to seem bigger and fancier than they really were. This can happen when people tell stories over and over. Back when Johnny Appleseed was alive, there weren't any phones to take videos, so we only know about him from what people say. And any of the photos you might find of Johnny Appleseed are drawings, because no photos were taken of him. His life was kind of a mystery, wasn't it? Anyway, thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye!